Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and we are going to be continuing the Christmas decoration theme for the channel for this month and we are going to make a really cute like window into Christmas. So I found this at Target and it is backwards. Um, it is a kind of fake windowsill. It's got plastic in there and it's just like a little uh, gentle wood frame. I don't think it's real wood either, but I think it's really cute. It's got this hook on the back where you can hang it. It's really lightweight and it's just like a little fake window. And I thought that was really cool. I have done a project similar to this on this channel where I painted like a fake window like outside into a meadow and like beautiful flowers, like a landscape, that's the word I'm thinking of. Beautiful landscape to go through a fake windowsill for hanging up in my office. And if you guys didn't catch that video and you want to see it, I'll link it below and it's also up above here. But basically what I thought I would do today was just paint a really lovely little Christmas scene so that when you hang it on the wall, it's like you're like looking into like a really cute little Christmas scene. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna change the camera angle and get some paints out. And we're gonna do this a little bit differently. Uh, for the previous craft, I like painted on a canvas and hung it behind the window frame. So it looked like you were looking out through a window into that. This time I'm painting on the actual plastic, but I'm gonna paint two ways. Like I'm gonna reverse it and paint the back side and then we're gonna decorate the front side to make it really feel like a legit Christmas window experience. So uh, let me change the camera, get some paint, and we'll get going. So this is a really easy craft to do, but it really tests your artistic skills and mine aren't the best. As much as I love painting, just kind of roll with it. It's more the idea that counts. So I started with a pale, pale green for the tree. And I'm putting on uh, what's called an interference blue. Um, and basically I'm making like a dark sofa because I feel like if you're looking in through a window, you're going to be like peeking the tree over the top of a sofa. So that's the idea with this rectangle here. But when you paint, you have to remember whatever you put on the plastic first, that's what you're going to see on the other side. So I'm trying to like build up colors opposite of how I want to look at them. So I'm doing a very light pale green on the tree and then I'm painting the sofa and then I'm scratching in a couple little areas for cushion delineation and I'm just cleaning up the edges with some water because I am using acrylic paint. It dries easily and quickly and you can clean it up pretty quickly. Next up I'm going to be using some water to put some dots and little tinsel marks into the tree and uh, paint on a star and ornaments. I'm going to be going over all of that with a couple different colors to be different ornaments peeking through. It's okay if it's a little bit messy because you already have that green, so it's going to be very muted when you turn it over anyway. And we're topping all of that with a darker green, which is hopefully going to give the tree a little bit of dimension. That's the idea. Here's what we're looking at. And then finally, I'm going to put a little bit extra in the room. So I'm going to add to the star and then the ornaments. And then I'm just going to paint like a little bit of a rug, like a red rug around the Christmas tree, just to get some red into the scene. And then once that's done, you're just going to want to go in and touch up your work. It does dry quickly because it's acrylic, but you still just want to make sure that everything looks nicely. So you have a little bit of time to work with it. So the couch is not as opaque as I'm hoping. I'm gonna go back in with a different color and also the shadow is just gonna make it look like a fabric or suede couch. So I'm not super worried about that. But once you get everything looking exactly how you want, be sure to check the other side and make sure it is looking how you want. Then just let it dry. And once it's dry, we can move on to the front. Mine is basically dry, but I'm not risking it. So I'm putting down a little bit of foam to keep the paint off the table. And I'm going in with some white and stippling it on the front of the windowsill. So the idea here is to make it look like it's snowing and that the snow is catching on the windowsill. And I'm building it up around all of the areas that gravity would naturally collect the ice and the snow. So kind of down the wood a little bit, like it got like a little bit of frozen sleet on it. But then whenever there's a crossbar, just really building it up there and getting that thick white color, but like really stippled. So it just looks like frosting on glass. This is also going to obscure a little bit of the picture inside, and that's great. It's going to make it look a little bit more realistic if you can't see the painting perfectly. Next up, we are taking some white glue or Elmer's glue, and we're just going to put big, thick globs on any horizontal part of the board, and then just slightly up the vertical edges, just, just slightly. And then we're going to go in with a fake snow. You can use a chunky white glitter, iridescent, anything you want. Um, they do sell fake snow at the craft store. They do sell little snowflake confetti glitters, just basically anything you want. And you're going to use the Elmer's glue to make it stay. So 
Once you get a big thick part of Elmer's glue, go ahead and sprinkle the glitter on there. Make sure to press it in because you do have a thick amount of glue on there and it will hold, but you gotta make sure that it's connected to it. And then when you're done, just kind of tap it off both ways, so front and then upside down, and that way you're gonna protect your carpets from excess shedding. And here we go, this is the final result. Just kind of a zoom in, you can see the frosting on the window and my fabulous Christmas scene in the background. It's as good as I could do. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you liked it and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.